how things are looking at the uh, top end then of the championship heading into the penultimate weekend. Confirmation that Leicester are up as champions. Burnley will be going up to the Premier League with them. Derby and QPR a certain place in the playoffs. Wigan nearly there. And Reading in the driving seat at the moment. Just that one point lead over Brighton in seven. But a whole host of teams technically all the way down to Watford who still have a chance. I do emphasise the word chance of perhaps making the playoffs. So then, with the Championship's top two already up and two of those playoff spots now decided, the scrap for the remaining places couldn't be tighter, as you've just seen, with Brighton leading the chase for the clubs outside the top six. And for Oscar Garcia, it's a case of meeting the challenge head-on as the Seagulls move to go one better than they did last season. You are playing uh, and you are fighting for, for something special uh, because this, uh, this club uh, haven't been in... Uh, in the, in the Premier League and uh, it will be a, a big achievement for us. So we don't care how many teams um, are involved, what we need to do is to, to be focused on the, next, on the next game and try to win uh, the next game, trying to beat uh, Jovi. How difficult do you think it will be against Jovi? There is no easy game. Uh, we, ha uh, we have to fight in, in, in every game to, 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 to win. Uh, with the teams at the bottom, it's, it's uh, hard to, uh, to, to play well, to play uh, comfortable. We always want to, we want to win. We, we are always positive with the substitutions because uh, we want to, 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 to pick up the, the three points uh, in, in every game. Oscar, how important are the goals of Leo Ojoa? When he scores, normally we, we, win, we win the game then it's, it's so important when, when he's when he is fit and he and he can score goals. Craig Bikel Smith has had a lot of problems. How good is it to have him back and maybe available for these playoffs? Yeah, we wanted to have uh, him back uh, before, but it wasn't possible because the first the first news was that he will be he would be okay in, in November, but it wasn't it wasn't possible. Uh, but now we have him and hopefully we will have him for, uh, for five games. How much does experience count in the playoffs? I hope it doesn't, it doesn't count a lot because uh, we only reach the playoff uh, once. But uh, our desire, uh, I think, will make, will make the difference. How will you prepare for it personally if you're involved? I played uh, a lot of uh, big games, uh, a lot of finals, and uh, what I what I learned from my my best coaches is is this that uh, you have to be you have to be calm because uh, you reach uh, this stage because you were calm and, and and you know how how to play. If you want to change a lot of things, then maybe it will be wrong. If we get into the playoff, it will be a, a very, very good season. Uh, and if we get promoted, obviously, it will be a, an amazing season. And Brian have a great chance to seize the initiative in that race for that six spot because they go first. And it's the live game this Friday from the Amex Stadium, Brighton against Yeovil. And of course, it could be a significant day for Yeovil because their stay in the championship will be over if they fail to get anything other than three points against Brighton. We're underway 7.30 Sky Sports 1. It's a massive opportunity, Andy, isn't it, going first? At this stage well, of the season. I think he's uh, he's been quoted as saying that that's what he wants. He, he, he wants you know to have that game out of the way and hopefully get the win, put the pressure on Reading. Um, you know they're an outstanding team the way the way he's got them playing. I think they've had a really unlucky season with injuries. He, he says for them to be where they are at the minute, you know he's absolutely delighted and over the moon. And um, you you know the way he coaches and what he gets over the. the the way they play. What do you hear from players you talk to about what kind of coach he is behind the scenes? Well, he, he believes in uh, you know the Johan Cruyff philosophy of of making players understand different roles and how to receive balls yep. and how to score more goals than the opposition, of course. But you know he, he was lucky enough to to be asked to go to the Catalonia national team, the Catalonia national mm. team. So, and you know he's worked under Mourinho, Bobby Robson. You know he's worked under these top coaches, but he says Cruyff's the best, and he. He said that all the coaches that have worked under him have gone on to flourish and he's worked under him and don't forget he was a top player at Barcelona. Mm. You know, he's, he won major honours, four league titles, Super Cups, you know. And if they don't make the playoffs, if they don't end with a flourish, will it be games like the last one at home to a side who is struggling in Blackpool, another side that's struggling again 
they're going to be against on Friday. It's a 1-1 draw against Blackpool. They're going to look back on these kind of games as why they didn't make it if they don't. They possibly could look back. I mean, that's a wonderful finish from Dale Stevens. you know, previously at our club. He's a top player. They could look back at this. But, the, you know, the positive is they didn't get beat. It was yeah. a point in the right direction. You know, he, he, he's saying by the, the way the season's gone, he's delighted to, that they've got a fighting chance of the playoffs. Yeah. So, you know, they've got to think of it. It was a point in the right, the right direction. Let's not think of it as two drop points because let's give credit to Blackpool. They were fighting for their lives. There was a hell of a finish off Dobby the other day after, you know, what had gone on with Burnley and, the, you know, the things that had gone on there. Friday, so, yeah, yeah so yeah. It, was a, it, was, it was a big win. And he's had big two results. months out, we shouldn't forget, but Leonardo Joao, 13 championship goals this season. A lot of the headlines have been grabbed by the likes of Vardy and by Nugent, Ings and Vokes, etc. Where would you rank him against those other strikers? I'd put him right up there. I think with the other strikers, where the clubs have won promotion, you've had Vokes and Ings, and then also you've had... Um, Vardy, you know, at Leicester with Nugent. Here, yeah. he seems to be doing it on his own. You know, you've got Lingard coming in off the line, you know, work, they have the three up front, they've got great movement. Well, he's pivotal, you know, they play the ball in straight. Well, he well, holds they? the ball up. You know, he gave us, he, you know, he gave us the runaround to us the, the he other scored way. That he, scored, win against he scored him. a wonderful yeah. goal. You know, he was the most impressive player on the pitch for me. He led the line. He, he, he knew when to hold it up. He knew when to lay it off. And, um, you know, fair play to him. He, he's a big, strong boy and he's, he's at the top of his game at the minute. And, of course, one player he's been without in terms of any kind of strike partner is Craig McHale Smith, who this time last year, it was the agony of missing out on the players because of that in injury. He's been out for a year, but he's now back in time for the playoffs in contrast to last year. Yes. That's a massive plus. What a player to get back. He absolutely works his socks off. You know, and everyone, you know, he's not just he's not just about that. He's a top finisher. I mean, you don't you don't leave for that amount of money, you know. And um, he's finishing. You know, he chose to go to there instead of West Ham. So let's give him some credit. Is it, is it a big ask when you've been out for that long to come back and play a big role in, in games of this nature? Uh, he'll want to grasp that opportunity. You know, the fans will want him back. You know, for the manager to turn around and see Craig McKell Smith on the bench, you know. And, you know, you'd be looking at the bench thinking, yeah, I could throw him on, he's going to run the channels, he's going to cause havoc, and he's going to look to score me goals. 